All right, so today we're diving into something that's been getting a lot of attention lately yeah. for Dentum. We've been seeing it everywhere. And, you know, with so many people interested, we figured it was time for a deep dive. Definitely. We're talking oral health, something that, let's be honest, affects pretty much everyone. It really does. And, you know, when you see those stats like that, over 75% of Americans experience gum disease at some point. Mm. It really makes you stop and think. Yeah, it's a lot more common than people realize. So Prudentum, they're claiming to be onto something different here, right? Yeah. Something they call new probiotic technology. Right. Natural ingredients, all designed to transform your oral health. It's a bold claim. Yeah, and they're not shying away from the benefits either. Healthier environment in your mouth, better gum health, even get this long-lasting fresh breath. The holy grail. Right. I mean, who wouldn't want that? Yeah. And of course, they say it's easy to use, safe, all backed by science. Of course they do. But, you know, how much of that is just clever marketing? We've all been there, seen the products that promise the world. That's why we brought in our expert here to help us separate the hype from the actual science. Happy to be here. So first things first, probiotics. Yeah. Probiotics for oral health. This isn't just about yogurt anymore, is it? No, definitely not. It's actually a really fascinating area. We tend to associate probiotics with gut health, which is important, but their role in oral health is just as crucial. Okay, so walk us through it. What's the connection? So think of your mouth like an ecosystem, trillions of bacteria, both good and bad. This is your oral microbiome. Like a tiny world inside our mouths. Exactly. And just like with your gut, maintaining a balance is key for your overall health. So when that balance is off, that's when problems start popping up. Exactly. Cavities, gum disease, even bad breath. These can all stem from an imbalance in your oral microbiome. And that's what Prudentum is supposedly targeting. That seems to be their claim, yes. They're introducing what they call 3.5 billion CFUs of beneficial bacteria into your system. CFUs. Right, sorry. CFU stands for Colony Forming Units. Basically, it's a way of measuring how many live and active bacteria are in a probiotic supplement. So the higher the CFU, the more potent the probiotic. Exactly. And 3.5 billion is a pretty significant number. They're really pushing the potency of their blend. Okay, so they're saying, hey, we're not just giving you a little bit of good bacteria. We're hitting you with a whole army of it. That's one way to put it. So what kind of bacteria are we talking about here? Well, they emphasize lactobacillus strains in their marketing. Lactobacillus. Okay, ring a bell, but remind us, what's so special about those? Well, these particular strains have been studied quite a bit for their benefits in the mouth. In the mouth, specifically. Yeah, they seem to thrive in that environment, and they've been linked to things like reducing inflammation and fighting off certain harmful bacteria. Okay, so it's a targeted approach using specific types of good bacteria to tackle specific oral health issues. Precisely. But to really understand how it all works, we need to dig a little deeper into the science of the oral microbiome. Okay, so let's dig in. All right, so we're talking about the oral microbiome, this whole world of bacteria living in our mouths. Exactly, and it's a delicate balance, right? Right, and when it's out of whack, that's when things go south. Exactly. So how do these lactobacillus strains, the ones in Prudentum, actually help tip the scales back in our favor? Well, one of the key things they do is fight inflammation. You see, when those bad bacteria build up, they can actually trigger an inflammatory response in your gums. Oh, so that's part of what leads to gum disease. Exactly. And these lactobacillus strains, they're like the peacekeepers. They come in and calm everything down, reduce that inflammation before it causes too much damage. Interesting. So it's not just about killing off the bad bacteria. It's about preventing that damage in the first place. Exactly. And that's not all they do. These little guys, they actually help create an environment that's less hospitable to those harmful bacteria. So it's like they're changing the landscape, making it harder for the bad bacteria to take root. Exactly. They're like, hey, this is our turf now. Move along. I like it. So it's a two-pronged approach. Fight the existing bad guys and make it harder for new ones to move in. Precisely. And the more these beneficial bacteria you have, the better they are at doing their job. That's where that 3.5 billion CFU count comes in, right? Yeah. Like the bigger the army, the better the defense. You got it. Okay, that makes sense. But, you know, for those of us who aren't scientists, what does this all actually mean for our oral health? Like... What are the tangible benefits? Well, a lot of the research has focused on gum disease, and the results are pretty promising. For example, a 2020 study published in the Journal of Clinical Periodontology found that using a mouthwash containing lactobacillus reiteri significantly reduced gum inflammation and bleeding compared to a placebo. 
Wow, that's impressive. So it's not just theory. There's actual science backing this up. Exactly. And it's not just gum disease either. Whoa. These probiotics can also help fight the bacteria that cause bad breath. Okay, now that's something I think everyone can get behind. Who doesn't want fresher breath? Mm. But let's be real. Are we saying Prudentum is the magic bullet for oral health? Can we all just ditch our toothbrushes and call it a day? Well, I wouldn't recommend throwing out your toothbrush just yet. Right, good point. Probiotics are a powerful tool, but they're not a cure-all. So it's more about working smarter, not necessarily harder. Exactly. Brushing, flossing, regular dental checkups, those are still crucial for a healthy mouth. It's about incorporating these beneficial bacteria mm -hmm. as part of a holistic approach. Exactly. Okay, so that's important to remember. Prudenta might be a great addition to your routine, but it's not a replacement for good oral hygiene habits. Exactly. And it's also important to remember that everyone's different. What works for one person might not work for another. All right, like with any supplement or health product, it's always a good idea to talk to your doctor or dentist before starting something new, especially if you have any existing health conditions or are taking medications. Absolutely. They can help you figure out if Prudentum is right for you and make sure it doesn't interact with anything else you're doing. Good advice. Yeah. So we've learned a lot about Prudentum and its potential benefits, but it sounds like there's still a lot we're learning about the oral microbiome and its connection to our overall health. Mm -hmm. So it seems like we've only just scratched the surface here. This whole world of the oral microbiome, it's fascinating. It really is. And the connections to our overall health, that's what's really exciting. Right. It makes you think, if these tiny bacteria can have such a big impact on our mouths, what else are they influencing? Exactly. And that's what researchers are trying to figure out right now. We've been talking about gut health for a while now, but the oral microbiome, that's a whole new frontier. It makes sense though, right? Our mouths, they're the gateway to our bodies. Exactly. And what's happening in there, it can have ripple effects throughout our system. There are studies looking at the link between the oral microbiome and heart health, even mental well-being. Wow. It's all connected. Well, I think it's safe to say we've given our listeners a lot to chew on today. I hope so. Prudentum, the oral microbiome, the potential benefits, even the things we still don't know. But we want to keep this conversation going. This is a deep dive after all, but it doesn't have to end here. Definitely not. So tell us, have you tried Prudentum? What about other probiotic products for oral health? Have you noticed a difference? And what about this whole connection between our mouths and our overall well-being? Does it make you think differently about your oral health routine? Head over to our website or find us on social media and share your thoughts. We might even feature some of your comments in an upcoming episode, because here at The Deep Dive, we're all about exploring these fascinating topics together. Until next time, stay curious.